What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's Ting here. Um, so today is Thursday, which makes me two weeks and two days post-op with Dr. Garamoni in Florida. Um, <clears throat> so things are going really well. My mom's here. She's taking care of me. Um, she got me this necklace. A little Buddha. A little fat Buddha. Um... Yeah, so she's been she got here a couple days after I got back. Um in that time I had a friend um staying here with me for a few days, so that was really nice. Um I also had a friend bring me food and then another friend brought made and brought this huge ass motherfucking cake. I can't even show you, but it was huge. Um chocolate cake with homemade caramel and like score bar sprinkles or something um three layers it was delicious um yeah so i felt really loved um still do um yeah so things are getting a lot are getting easier by the day i guess um showering is still scary not scary it's just tiring because you can't, you have to think about a lot of things. Um, not facing the shower, covering your nipples, tr trying not to like rub all over, and you can't really reach your back, and you gotta shower your head like this, and you can't really. There's just a lot to think about, and it's exhausting. Um, and then after the shower, there's like, you gotta take care of your chest, and that takes forever. Um, I'll make I think I'll make my next video about that, um, about the products and the meds that I'm taking and was taking. Um, yeah, so I was saying things are getting easier. I can get out of bed really easily now without too much pain or without any pain at all. Um, the only annoying thing is that I'm still sleeping on my back and you, I can't really turn to the side and it's really annoying to like fight that instinct that you just want to roll over and just be on your side or even on your stomach and I just can't wait till I can sleep like that again um I feel like I sleep like um vampires like just like this <laughs> um anyways um so yeah and I'm still kind of t-rexing it like Dr. Garamoni said for the first two weeks but and I'm still hunched over um, but I am listening to my body and kind of like if I am able to, if I feel fine to reach for certain things or even go, go like this, um, then I'll do it. Um, but if I feel too much of a stretch, then I won't do it. Um, so I guess just like listen to your body and, you know, you know, you're the only person that knows your limit. So don't pass it surpass it yeah um some of the things that i'm having a lot of trouble with is pushing pulling and twisting so pulling doors um or pushing boxes i haven't really been pushing boxes but I, pushing the freezer um door uh, pulling the freezer door sorry i'm pushing the freezer door um, twisting things, like opening bottles, um, that's hard. Um, it's getting easier, but it's just, you know, it's weird. Lifting, I have no trouble with. Um, and one tip is, if you really have to lift or carry things, like heavy things, um, just, like, hold it really close to your chest so that you're not really using the muscles, I guess. Um, but if you don't have to hold anything, don't, don't do it. This is, like, last resort kind of thing. Um, what else? Oh, I have not driven yet. I'm still kind of scared to do that, so I'm going to wait. Can't really put my own seatbelt either, so there's no point of driving without a seatbelt, right? Um, took the bus for the first time today. That was scary. It's, it's, because you can't really hold the bars if you have to stand, um... And I think I went to like pull the, to ring the bell to get off. I like hurt myself a little bit. Whatever. Um, what else? Oh, for the first week, I was really scared to 
laugh, to sneeze, blow my nose, cough, um, and poop. Because <laughs> you kind of have to use all of those things, use your entire body, sort of. Um, well, your torso at least. Um, and I had the hiccups at some point, and that was like super painful. Um, and scary. I think it's more scary than painful. Um, yeah, so, um, so I'm finally, you know, being able to laugh without holding my chest like this, or you know, when I st sneeze, I still hold myself, so, I don't know, I think I'm afraid that something's gonna pop out or something, um, even though I feel like my stitches are, you know, pretty much healed, um, it's on your head, um, what else? Oh, um, it's still really cold in Montreal, like, 5 degrees <clears throat> Celsius. Um, it's gonna, it's supposed to snow tonight or something. Anyways, um, being cold, I don't know if it was because it was my first week back and I was still, like, recovering or, like, still frail from the surgery, um, loss of blood, I don't know. But I got cold, I get cold really easily now, and, or maybe it's the one less layer that I have on um but getting cold is not fun because when I get cold I shiver and when you shiver you well I felt my pecs and it's just it's not a fun feeling like yeah like you don't really want to feel anything there right now um or move the mus muscles under I guess um yeah, so, you know, when those situations happen, I'm just like this. Scared for life. Um, what else? I have a list of things, but I think that's about it. Um, oh, I also took off the tape from the, the incisions yesterday. I took them off in the shower so that it's less um, sticky because it was, like, pulling on my skin. Um... So, this is a lot of chest. This is like a bad idea, but anyways, this is my chest. My nipples are hidden, obviously. Um, they're still kind of bleeding. I'm not sure if that's normal, but I'm gonna wait a couple more days to see. They also peeled off a little bit today. Um, you know, one day I think this one is healing faster than this one, and then the next day... I feel like this one is healing faster, so I don't really know what's going on with them. They still look gross. Fuck. Anyways, um, so these are the incision lines. <clears throat> I have scar guard on. Um, it's not shiny, but it's just peeling off. Um, I think there's like a stitch here. I also have weird bruising under here. I don't know if that's normal or if like my skin is dying. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really stri it's pretty straight. Um, really, really thin. Dr. Garamoni is amazing. Um, I have the drain hole here. I'm still putting antibiotic ointment on it because just I feel like they haven't really healed entirely. I'm not really sure. I can't really see under there. Um, this side as well. This side I have less mobility. Um, so you might not be able to see as well. Maybe I should get just get naked. But anyways, um, so yeah, here it is. It's my chest. I'm excited to work out um, and see what I can do with these like pe pecs slash man boobs. Um, yeah. So what else? Oh, I am like I don't know if it's my skin. I think my skin is too sensitive. Oh, my mom got me this necklace. Did I tell you guys already? Thanks. Um, I don't know if it's my skin that's really sensitive, but like. The tape that I'm using is like, is leaving scars, it's leaving redness, and I'm just so over being taped, guys. Um, yeah, i so over it. Anyways, so that's me, two weeks, two days post-op, um, it's been good. Thanks for watching, guys.